And from a military standpoint, this is a very, very difficult fight. Uh, this fight uh, stretches uh, all the way from right now, so the front line goes from all the way from Kharkiv down to Kyrgyzstan, and there's significant fighting ongoing, uh, and it's more or less a static front line right this minute, uh, with the exception of Bakhmut and Solidar, where there's significant uh, offensive action going on really from both sides. The distance, that for the United States, that's about from, uh, I guess, Washington, D.C. to Atlanta. Uh, so that is a significant amount of territory. And in that territory uh, are still remaining a lot of Russian forces in Russian-occupied Ukraine. So from a military standpoint, I still maintain that for this year, it would be very, very difficult to militarily eject the Russian forces from all, every inch of Ukrainian-occupied or uh, Russian-occupied Ukraine. Uh, that doesn't mean it can't happen, doesn't mean it won't happen, but it'd be very, very difficult. I think what can happen is a, is a uh, continued uh, defense, uh, stabilizing the front. I think it's possible to, to clearly do that. But I do think at the end of the day, this war, like many wars in the past, will end at some sort of negotiating table, and that'll be determined in terms of timing by the leaders of both countries, uh, both, both uh, Russia and, and Ukraine. Uh, President Putin could end this war today. It, it's, he started it, it's his war of choice, and he could end it today. Uh, because it's turning into an absolute catastrophe for Russia. Uh, massive amounts of casualties, lots of other damage uh, to, the, to the Russian military, etc. Uh, so he should and could end this war right now, right today.